वेलकम बैक टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ डिजिटल सिस्टम डिजाइन सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग क्वीन मकेस्की टेक्निक सो वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सेशन सो हाउ टू सॉल्व ए गिवन प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन द क्वीन मकेस्की टेक्निक सो इन दिस सेशन विल बी लुकिंग एट द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल of queen matrix method so the given problem is so solve the following using the queen matrix technique so the expression given so d is equal to f of a comma b comma c comma d and that is equal to summation of 0 comma 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 14 So the first step in the Queen Maclesky method is to represent all the given min terms in their binary notation. So represent the min terms in their binary form based on the number of input variables. So what this number of input variable represent is that. So in how many bits we need to represent the binary number. So that is whether it's a three bit function, uh, three variable function, or a four variable function. So based on this. So if it is a three variable function, then we need to represent in three bit binary form. If it is a four variable function, then we need to represent in four bit form. So that is, so all the min terms, whatever they have given, represent the min terms in the binary form. So this is the first step. After representing the min terms in their binary form, the next step is to regroup them or rearrange them based on the number of ones present in their binary notation form as you can see this is the first table what we have written so the min terms are converted and written in their binary notation and now the next task that is step 2 is to convert or to rearrange this into a new form wherein we group them based on the number of ones present in the binary notation that is suppose for example if i take the min term 0 there are no ones present in its binary notation so similarly if i take 1 so there is single one present in the binary notation so again for 2 we have a single one for 3 we have two ones similarly for 7 we have three ones if we take 15 we have four ones so based on the number of ones present in the binary notation we are going to regroup them based on uh, zero number of ones group uh, the by the min terms which contain single one in their binary rep representation similarly uh, the min terms which contains two binary numbers in their uh, representation uh, as well as three number of ones and four number of ones so according to that whatever the min terms they have given that we are going to regroup them so which gives us this second step okay so the first step is to represent in binary form and the next step is to group them based on the number of ones present so these two steps are the initial stage the next is we are going to compare each min term of one group with the next immediate group min terms in the sense so if i take up this the table so I have group 0 group 1 group 2 group 3 and group 4 so what how i have to compare is that i have to consider one group suppose for example if i come consider group 0 then whatever which all the min terms we have in group group 0 that min term has to be compared with the each and every min term of the next immediate group that is the next immediate group is nothing but group 1 similarly if i consider group 1 then i need to compare 1 2 and 8 with all the min terms of next immediate next immediate is nothing but group 2 that is 1 has to be compared with 3 6 9 2 2 has to be compared with 3 6 9 again 8 has to be compared with 3 6 and 9 so this is how the comparison goes on so then for what so that is what the first uh, thing 
in creating a new table. And for what we are looking for, we are while comparing, we are looking for one bit change in the variable, and then we are going to re regroup them in a new table form. So because we know that uh, whenever there is a one bit change, we can eliminate that. So based on the Boolean algebra, we know that uh, x plus x bar equals one. So that's why we'll be looking for a single bit change in the variable. So if that is the case, then I can eliminate that. If I have more than one variables changing, then it is not at all possible to group them. The next is, so if there is a one bit change in variable, then that changing variable must be represented by a dash symbol. The table what we are going to uh, rewrite again, one more table. So in that table, while writing the binary notation, the variable which is changing the one bit variable which was changing so that bit must be represented by a dax symbol so we'll see in the table now so now as you can see here so i will clearly explain okay so now how the this table this is how the table will come the new table based on that is what i said we are going to compare the groups and then we'll write the dash symbol for the changing so how this is written so we'll see now so now the first is i'm going to consider group zero which contains one meter zero so now that zero I need to compare with the next group medium. So that is zero has to be compared with one, zero has to be compared with two, and zero has to be compared with eight. If possible, I need to group them if there is a single bit change. So now first I will consider zero and one. So if I am considering the zero and one, I am looking for whether is there a single bit change in variable. So if I uh, look for the variable A, both are containing the value zero. And similarly, uh, variable B, both are containing C, zero. C also common. But as I can see here, the D is changing. That is, D is the only variable for both min terms which is changing. So if this is the case, so what this changing variable indicating is that this zero is nothing but it is D bar and one is nothing but D. So D bar plus D is going to be one. So I can eliminate that. So the common variables, whatever we have, that values I am representing in this new table as it is. That is A will be 0, B will be 0 and C will be 0. Whereas the changing variable D will be represented by a dash symbol. And while transferring or, or while writing the values in this table, as soon as I make a comparison, I need to tick mark those mean terms. So I am comparing 0 and 1. So here I'm writing the 0 and 1. So I've written the common values, the changing variable, it has been replaced by a dash symbol. So as soon as I have made the comparison of 0 and 1, I'm going to check mark that. So next, so 0 and 1 is done. So next, I need to uh, compare 0 with the 2. That is the next mean term of next group. Okay. So now I will look for a single bit change is present or what. So if I take A, both are same. If I take B, the values of both same. If I take C, for 0 it is 0 and for 2 it is 1. So we have a 1 bit change here. So let's look at the next value. So that is common. So 3 variables values are common and C is the variable which is same. Now, so I can group them. So I am going to write it. 0 comma 2 the changing variable that is the c is replaced by a dash so as soon as i write here i'm going to check mark it so the next is the same procedure we need to apply it for the next value 0 and 8 so do we have a single bit change yes we have the variable a is changing from 0 to 1 so the changing variable has to be replaced by a dash symbol and the common values are carried as it is. So 0, 8 dash 0, 0, 0. So, so now you can see that all 
that is the group zero momentums are compared with the group one momentums so that's it you should not compare group zero with group two or next only whichever the group you are comparing you need to compare that group with its next immediate group okay so this is how we are going to fill the new table so the next we'll see how to compare group 1 with group 2 so now we'll consider 1 and 3 so is it possible to group 1 and 3 so if we look at the value of a it is common value of b is common value of c is changing value of d is common so again it is possible to group them because there is only one bit change the c variable is changing except that a b and d a they have the common values so copy the common values and represent the change in variable by a dash so and you can write here it as 1 comma 3 so 1 comma 3 0 0 dash 1 because c is changing okay as soon as you make the comparison don't forget to check mark okay next i will try to compare 1 with 6 is it possible to compare 1 with 6 so not at all possible so as you can see here 1 0 0 1 0 1 we have more than one variable change so it is not possible to compare 1 and 6 so next i will compare 1 with 9 so is it possible to compare 1 with 9 yes i can compare so as you can see here except ea b c d values are same so there is only one bit change so i can group them and i can eliminate the changing variable so like this you can able to group them and the changing variable is replaced by a dash okay next so one I have uh, uh, compared with 3 and 6 and 9. Next, we need to go for the variable 2. So, can I compare 2 and 3? So, if we look at the values of 2 and 3, yes, exactly, I can able to compare them because D is the variable which is changing and A, B, C, they are the common value. So, the D variable has to be replaced with a dash symbol. So, I can write 2, comma 3. 0, 0, 1, dash. Okay. So next I will try to compare 2 with 6. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Because they have one bit change. The B variable is changing. A, C and D remain same. So I can able to write here to comma 6, 0, dash, 1, 0. So as soon as I make a comparison, don't forget to make a check mark. Okay. Next. 2 with 9. Is it possible 2 with 9? No, it is not possible because we have more than one bit change. So next we go for 8. So is it possible to group 8 with 3? No, it is not possible. 8 with 6? Not possible. 8 with 9 is possible. So I am just showing the possible cases uh, to make the <coughs> in the animation part. Okay. So 8 with 9, yes exactly it is possible. So 8 and 9, if you can see here, A, B and C, they have the common values, whereas the D is changing. Uh, in 8 it is 0 and in 9 it is 1. So the change in variable, that is the D variable has to be represented by a dash symbol and the common values are co copied as it is to the next table. So I have tick mark. So this is how you are going to fill this new table completely okay next so what next you have to do is that you need to compare group 2 with group 3 and once you have done that group 3 with group 4 okay so after you finish that so this is how you have the completed table so you can compare 3 with 7 it is possible 3 with 14 not possible so 6 with 7 is possible and 6 with 14 is possible. Similar 9 
it is not possible to compare with 7 or not possible to compare with 14 but anyway 9 is already grouped in the group 1 section so at least that mean term has to be covered in any one of the grouping okay, at least once so no need to worry already we have ticked that so 3 7 6 7 6 14 and the last group 3 to 4 so 7 with 15 possible 14 with 15 is possible okay and again as you can see that as we keep, keep on moving from one table to the next table you can see that the number of ones will be get reduced so if you can see here in the group so we have zeros or zero number of ones one number of one two number of ones three number of ones four number of ones but as you can see here in the next table we don't have the four number of ones that has been reduced Similarly, if we go for further next, then the three variable, uh, that is the three number of ones is going to be get uh, deleted or it, has, it is removed. So further next, we follow the same approach. So we'll compare the zero group with group one and one with two, two with three. So now in comparing this, what we are looking for, so when we go for <coughs> the next group okay so first i will take zero and one so here we have a little change in comparison process what we are looking here for we will first we will consider the column which is having a dash symbol and we will look for the corresponding column which is having the same dash in the same column in the next group so, so the, in the sense so you can see here in group 0 so we have a dash in d columns we are going to find in the next group we uh, in the next group of d column do we have a dash symbol so if i look there we have a dash symbol. so i need to compare only these two values no need to compare any other values the column which contains the dash the same columns which contains the the rows which contains the dash in the same column that we need to compare the rows which contains the dash in the same column so you can see that this row contains the uh, dash in d column and again this row contains the dash in d column so now we'll after this we need to look for is there a one by change so even if we have a dash in the same column but if we have more than one bit change that is not possible okay so first thing the rows which is having the dash in the same column the next is we need to look for a one bit change so if we compare these values so a is same b is same whereas c is changed okay so i can group them so i can write here as 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the changing variable again it is replaced by a dash the dash which was already presented which was a common for both that is carried as it is uh, again the value of a and b is carried as it is because both were common so once you make a comparison check mark those minimum group next so i will be going for this one so the rows which contains dash in c column so as i can see we have here so that is one and three so next is there a one bit change so i will check for one bit change a value common b value common c value is also common d is in yes i can group them together so i can write it as 0 to 1 3 and again if you observe here 0 1 2 3 2 0 to 1 3 because the mean terms are same but the order is different so both are same expression so i can eliminate one row while carrying it for the next table so no need to write this again okay because both are same so four groups uh, out of this has been covered so now next we go for this one so zero eight so the row which contains dash in a column so zero eight and one nine okay zero eight one nine and again 
So if I look here, 0, 1, uh, we have one more here. 0, 1, okay, and 8, 9. So this is also possible to group. So that is what, 0, 1, 8, 9. 0, 1, 8, 9, 0, 8, 1, 9. Okay. Similarly, uh, we are comparing group 1 midterms with group 2 and group 2 with group 3. So as you can see here again, the three number of ones has been eliminated. So here we have no ones, single one, two one. Okay. And again, if you can see here, so these two are similar. Again, these two are similar. Uh, no need to write twice again. So I can eliminate the one rows. So again, these two are similar. These two are similar. So I'm going to rewrite the same table. So it is going to be like this. So we have four groups of midterms. So this is one, this one, this one, and this one. So now next task is to write a prime implicant table. So how I am going to consider that? So which all the we have got in the last group? <clears throat> so we are going to convert. So we are going to take these midterms and we are going to convert these variables into their uh, true form or complement form. Suppose, for example, if I take this 0, 1, 2, 3, the expression or the notation for this is A bar, B bar. So similarly for 0, 1, 8, 9, B bar, C bar. For 2, 3, 6, 7, it is A bar, C. And 6, 7, 14, 15, it is B, C. So all these are represented in the prime implicant terms okay so and their decimal notation that is the mean terms or uh, represented here and all the mean terms which were given in the the first expression of the problem so all are listed here 0 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 14 and 15 so once you have written this table the next task is to mark a cross mark over the rows corresponding to the decimal values what you have here so in the sense so for this row you need to mark a cross mark on the columns 0 1 2 and 3 so that is here you need to make a cross mark here you need to make a cross mark here you need to make a cross mark and here you need to make a cross mark similarly if i go for next row 0 1 8 and 9 Similarly, so if, I, if you are going for third row, so you need to make a cross mark on 2, 3, 6, 7. And next is, so we have 6, 7, 14 and 15. So once you make a cross mark, you are going to get like this. So the next procedure after making a cross mark is that look for the columns which contains a single cross mark. So if you found a single cross mark, then circle those cross marks. So as you can see in the slide, column 8, 9, 14 and 15, they are containing single cross mark. So we are looking column wise. Okay, so to check for a single cross mark, we are looking column wise. So while looking column wise, if a particular column contains a single star mark or a sorry, single cross mark, then circle those cross marks. So here if you can see that 0 is containing 2 cross, 1 is containing 2, 2 is also containing 3. So up to 7, we have all the columns containing 2 cross marks. So no need to circle them. So if you observe here 8, 9, 14 and 15, they contain single cross marks. So we are circling them. And once you circle them, next, what is the next step? The next step is to write the expression. So first we will take up the columns which is having a single cross mark. So that is I am considering the 8. So the prime implicant term for this is B bar C bar. So I am going to write that B bar C bar to the final expression and then I am going to tick mark which all the mean terms this b bar and c bar is going to cover that is 0 1 8 9 0 1 8 9 next 
so if i look for 9 it is already covered okay 0 1 8 and so i no need to rewrite b bar c bar because it is already there so next i go for the next mean term uh, that is the primary implicant uh, term so that is column 14 so if i go for column 14 the next uh, prime implicant term is b and c uh, again once i write the b and c i need to take which all the mean terms it is going to cover so it is going to cover 6 7 14 and 50. okay so now the left out is i need to compare sorry i need to cover 2 and 3 but if i look at the remaining prime implicant terms so a bar b bar so it is having 2 and 3 0 and 1 but anyway 0 and 1 is already covered what i want is 2 and 3 and again if i look for the third row a bar c 2 and 3 yes i have what uh, i wanted it is there but uh, it contains also 6 and 7 which is already covered so for this problem we have two solutions either i can take a bar b bar so which covers 2 and 3 okay so by this we have covered all the mid terms this is one of the possible solution this is true the next is that so as i know that i can write b bar c bar there is no issue with this and b c term okay so instead of in the previous slide what we have seen is that we have considered a bar b bar so instead of that even I can consider A bar C. So if I consider A bar C, 2, 3 is covered. So 2 and 3 is covered. This is also possible. So for this particular problem, we have two solutions. Both are correct. Is that clear? So this is how we are going to write the prime implicant table. And from the prime implicant table, the final expression. So you can compare your results with KMAP by plotting the KMAP. So this is one possible solution. Okay. So you can see here we have two, uh, we have four points. Okay. But you can see the comparison here. So the result what we have got is same in both the cases okay this is one possible uh, solution and if you can see here this red group we have grouped the quad in uh, horizontal direction okay so the second possible grouping is the red group as you can see here okay so this is one possibility and this is one possibility so both are correct since for this problem we have two methods of grouping or we have two solutions both are correct okay so that's it for this session so if you have any doubt please go through the video once again and please go through the first uh, problem thank you